Hey everybody, it's Miss Liz at Lee County Library and today for our Summer Reading Craft Spotlight, we're going to be making these adorable squid wind socks. Isn't he cute? All right, so for this craft, you're just gonna need some glue. You could also have a stapler or some tape on hand, but you should be able to attach everything with a glue stick if that's all you have. So we use some streamers, some crepe paper, we have a couple stickers, some construction paper, and some cardstock. So if you didn't get a chance to come by the library and pick up one of these craft kits, you can use some supplies at home to make this squid. So I'm going to show you how to make him now. We're just going to start with a large piece of paper, and it's got some holes punched in it. So start with that one, and just line one of the shorter ends with glue, and then roll it around to kind of make the shape of a tube. Now let's place that tube, after it's all stuck together, onto that smaller piece of cardstock and glue it in position. So we just kind of want it to look like this. Now it's time to add the streamers for his little tentacles. We're going to glue strips of crepe paper around the bottom edge inside of that tube and then we just want those to be able to hang down. So afterwards, once you've got all of your crepe paper streamers and tentacles on there, let's move on to the eyes. We're gonna glue those black circles into the middle of the white stickers before you unstick the stickers. Then you can stick the stickers onto the front of your squid's face for his eyes. All right, you should have a little piece of string or yarn we're going to thread that through these holes that we punched in the cardstock for you. And once you get those all together, just tie a knot so that your squid can hang. Sometimes tying those little knots can be tricky, but if you have to ask for help, that's okay. And now you should have a squid that can hang and you can see all the little tentacles while it's hanging down. Great job making your squid. I'll see you next time.